There will never be closure for these, for these families and for these victims. They will carry the scars, they will carry the pain, emotionally and physically, for the rest of their lives. That's current Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz, who has met many of the victims' family members and survivors. But the top cop at the time of the shooting is now the chief in Miami Beach, Florida. For the first time, Dan Oates is now able to talk about this case. I spoke to him tonight to get his reaction on this verdict. Our cops went through a lot. An emotional Chief Dan Oates shortly after the shooting, explaining how his officers turned into heroes that night. They um, rushed people out of that, that theater into police cars. I, I, I've heard some compelling stories. We caught up tonight with the chief, who's now the top cop in Miami Beach, Florida. Uh, I'm a little surprised that the jury didn't come back with a death verdict. Surprised, but not totally shocked, Chief Oates says. When I first read his manifesto, I had some concerns about whether or not uh, uh, a death sentence could be achieved anyway. Chief Oates and his department left no detail behind, compiling thousands of pieces of evidence and hundreds of interviews to give to the DA in the case. And we did the best we could to deliver justice for the families, and, and I do feel good about that. I, I, I grieve for the families three years later. We all do. Um, we wish them the best. We had world-class uh, psychological care. Uh, yes, our, our folks have been through a lot, but nothing compared to what the families have been through. I mean, it was a life-altering event for everyone involved, and we're all victims. As for the jury's decision and what will now happen to the shooter, the chief didn't mince words. I like the idea that James Holmes is going to spend the rest of his life in prison 23 hours a day staring at a wall.